Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Elena and I share easy yoga flows you can do at home. Today's flow will involve a lot of movement and going through familiar posters. I hope you enjoy it. Getting started top of your mat, close your eyes and first arrive here. Engage your legs, so lift your kneecaps. You'll feel immediate engagement in your quads. And if you choose to do so, try lifting all 10 of your toes. Immediately your legs are fired up. Blink your eyes open, inhale to reach up, look up, get a little taller, maybe even add a back bend if you want, and exhale, fold over your legs, generously bend your knees. Let your head hang heavy, relax your neck. Inhale to get on your fingertips to a flat back. Exhale, fold maybe a little deeper. Maybe try straightening your legs one at a time. Grab the opposite elbows, sway from side to side. And inhale, plant your hands, step back into plank pose, engage your hands here, spread your fingers wide and grip your mat, protract through your shoulders. On an exhale, lean forward, place your knees down, bend your elbows halfway, modify Chaturanga, and inhale, low cobra. And exhale, roll yourself up and back into downward facing dog. Walk your feet, lowering one heel at a time, bending the other leg, and get to stillness whenever you're ready. Taking a moment here, lift your sit bones a little higher. The heels may stay off the floor. Inhale, look forward and step through front of the mat. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll yourself up to standing hands in front of your heart. One more round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. <laughs> Inhale, stay in the cobra pose or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, get high on your toes and you can walk to the front of your mat or bend your knees and jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. And inhale, slowly roll yourself up to standing, getting warmer and we don't have much time, so. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, step right into plank pose and lower down chaturanga on an exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, brings you to downward facing dog. Come to stillness in this pose, listening to your breaths. Look forward at your hands. Make sure they're still engaged and strongly grip in your mat. Inhale, lift high on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, jump forward. Inhale, brings you to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Slowly roll yourself up. Hands in front of your heart. Changing things up a little bit. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, place your hands on the floor and step your right foot back. Bring your right heel down. Adjust. And slowly roll yourself up to low lunge, Anjaneyasana. The back 
um, food, the back toes can be tucked or untucked, depending how you feel in your uh, hip flexor. Inhale, reach up and exhale flow through your vinyasa maybe even lifted one foot in your chaturanga meet me in downward facing dog inhale to get on your toes reach your right leg up exhale step it through left knee stays down Low lunge, but this time engage your inner thighs, tuck your toes under and lift your left knee off the floor. Crescent pose. Inhale, look up, reach up, exhale, fingertips to the front of the mat, step into forward fold. Grab the opposite elbows, relax your neck moving into the next side right away fingertips on the floor floor straight back inhale exhale step your left foot back left knee comes down low lunge inhale reach up exhale vinyasa Meet me in downward facing dog. And inhale to get on your toes, bring your left leg up. Exhale, bring your left knee to chest, step it through. Right knee comes down, low lunge. Tuck your toes under, bring your inner thighs together, squeeze your legs, lift the right knee off the floor. Get a little deeper in that front leg. Reach up and exhale, fall forward to the front of the mat. Sipping in a few breaths here. Inhale, slowly roll yourself up to standing. One more time, inhale. Reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale to a flat back, step your right foot back, right knee comes down. Inhale, reach up, low lunge. Exhale, vinyasa. Whenever you get tired of vinyasas, you can skip them. And meet me in downward facing dog or take a child's pose. From downward facing dog, inhale to reach your right leg. Up and back, bend your knee, open the hip. Exhale, right knee to chest, bring it forward. Left knee comes down, low lunge the side. Inhale to tuck your toes under, bring your Right, left knee off the mat. Spin the left foot so that left foot is aligned to your right arch warrior two. Can you get a little lower in this warrior? Make sure you're pushing through the outer corner of your left foot to engage the outer hip. Get tall, strong hands. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, knee, right elbow to right knee. Reach, left arm reaches over. Inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Inhale to get on your toes, bend your knees, make your way to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. We have the other side. So inhale, step your left foot back. Left knee comes down, low lunge. Inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. From your downward facing dog. 
inhale to get on your toes reach your left leg up and back bend your knee open the hip exhale left knee to chest step it through bring your right knee down low lunge tuck your toes under engage your glutes engage your legs right knee comes off the floor cross and pose and then spin your right foot down so that your left heel is aligned to the right arch get a little deeper the back leg is a little straighter try to open your hips a little more in this pose while working on bringing shoulder blades down and together look forward towards your left fingertips get a little deeper and inhale reverse warrior exhale left elbow to left knee reach your right arm over your right ear inhale and exhale through your vinyasa And now we're gonna finish strong with a few handstand hops, but don't worry. I don't expect you to be in a handstand. In fact, I can't do a handstand without a wall, but we'll do it for the sake of cardio and to keep, to keep the heart rate going. So shorten your stance a little bit, look forward, make sure your fingers are really gripping, your hands are engaged get high on your toes inhale and exhale try to hop and kick your heels to your butt land in the same position so together three times kick your heels to your butt and one last time and can you make it to the front of the mat Ah, inhale to flat back, exhale, fold. Sway from side to side. Inhale to a flat back and bend your knees deeper so that you are slowly lowering, lowering yourself to seated. From here, slowly vertebra by vertebra, ro roll yourself onto the mat. Bring your right knee to chest, left leg straight. Bring your right knee over to the left side. Stay here or expand your right arm to the right. And join this twist, supine twist. Slowing down your breaths to lower your heart rate inhale back to center and just switch in sides this stretch really helps if i don't have a lot of time to spend doing yoga kind of stretches through my entire body inhale back to center massage your lower back and whenever you're ready, roll yourself up to seated. I encourage you to take Shavasana whenever you're practicing yoga, but if you're short on time, you can take seated Shavasana, seated meditation. So just close your eyes, feel the effects of this practice. It was short, but you got to move, you got to stretch, you got to strengthen. I'm very proud of myself. I hope you're proud of yourself as well. Inhale, deep, deep inhale together to the top of your lungs. Exhale, side out, <sighs> open your eyes. Thank you so much for letting me guide you. I hope to see you on your mat again soon.